Good morning, everybody. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. Those are lyrics from the 1987 song, Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. So how many of you thought to yourself, what can I do to make a difference? How can I impact this world in some way? That being said, the waste we produce is usually burned and buried, which is not good for the environment whatsoever. And burn waste, that, burn waste and incinerators are usually release dangerous gases and dust which contributes to global warming and it pollutes lakes, oceans, and cities half away from which it originated from. So how many of you try to recycle or at least recycle? Okay. So I'm very aware of the benefits of recycling and at my house we have two bins, one for recycling and one for regular trash. And we also collect water bottles which we take to a place to actually give you some cash back for recycling. So as the population grows, the waste in the world increases, and there's many opportunities we have to make a difference. So we need to make uh, re recycling an everyday habit, and that being said, I printed out sheets, which you could, Laura will be handing out later, and it, has, it lists things that you can recycle and what they recommend to recycle, and you can tape it anywhere. So each person generates 4.38 pounds of waste per day. And according to an article, garbage problems, burying garbage also causes both air and water pollution and simply transporting to the sites consumes an increasing amount of valuable fossil fuels which produces more pollution and other problems. And, and this is something that affects our home and affects our planet and just two years ago Phoenix was ranked number five for the most polluted city nationwide for ozone. Although some believe waste landfills are actually have minimal, minimal health risk. And according to an article, recycling is not the answer, written by Jerry Taylor. He states that the true health risk from modern incinerators is less than one in a million. However, that is not true because we know that the air pollution is really bad and it actually contribute, uh, it contributes to certain diseases like lung cancer, respiratory infections, and children too. So more than 92% of lives uh, where people live, the air pollution exceeds the limits. And according to a re that's according to a research by the World Health Organization. But some believe that the landfill design criteria recently promoted by EPA will reduce those minor risks. Um, but air pollution is still considered the fourth threat, the fourth largest threat to human health behind high blood pressure, dietary risk, and even smoking. So a solution is making recycling an everyday habit in our lives. Um, in an article written by Greg Whitbecker, he states that replacing this production by, with recycling would keep 11.8 million metric tons of carbon dioxide from being produced and released into the atmosphere. So I think a huge question people may have is what can you recycle? And so three general guidelines you should follow is recycle all bottles, cans, and paper, keep items re re relatively clean, don't mix plastic bags with in with the rest of your recycled items. Recycling efforts can reduce waste and will not only not harm the planet today but will help future generations. Furthermore, in the, article, in the article I previously mentioned, um, recycling is not the answer. He states that we are told re recycling will help preserve scarce landfill space. We are not, however, even remotely close to running out of space for the gar garbage. But he fails to see that's not only not the only problem about the space, but how it's affecting the, the environment and how throwing, how that trash bag you threw will take many years to degrade. So. So recycling reduces landfills and it preserves resources and protects wildlife. And so the sheets I printed out today, they list things that you could put in there. And there's also a website mentioned called wewantrefill.com. And basically that promotes, and there's an online petition that it promotes that retail companies put these, um, they put these refill stations where you could bring either like laundry detergent bottles and have them refilled so it'll be easier and it preserves, it saves a lot of
from extra waste. And some believe that energy costs, it's having recycling and it costs a lot of uh, money, but the price to pay is small compared to the damage we could do to the, to the one planet we have. So I recommend you guys make recycling a everyday habit. And if you could pass out the papers, if you could take one and go to that website and sign that petition because it's very helpful. And I think we could all do some things to help us help save the planet. And I, before I end, I would like to leave with you with this quote. Usually one person doesn't solve the solution, but 100 people with 1% of the solution, that will get it done. Thank you.